exhibition was on the wish of Mr. Bellaval, who just took over the direction of the National Monument Center in France. He wanted to do something a bit different in the Conciergerie, where there is one show per year, and the, preview, the show plan was cancelled. Uh, so the idea of inviting the, the, the Pinot Collection, which could provide with the show in a very short time, <laughs> uh, because everything is in one collection, and the idea of being uh, locked up, uh, raised, and then I made some research on the collection, if we could find enough works, and that's how the project started. The subject was very good, I think, with the location. We are in the Conciergerie where it's the terror time of the revolution. And I tried to make a show in two big themes with the influence of Michel Foucault uh, regarding the idea on a political, social, economic common ground and on an individual ground that nothing is definitive and that it might raise some uh, new shapes uh, for individual as well as with communities. Here we are. <coughs> it's a bit crowded today, but with a work by Sun Young and Feng Yu. It's 13 old person <coughs> that you can see move, uh, and they are all representing a kind of power, but whatever power you have, you're going to finish in the same state than anyone. So it uh, gives a big uh, distance with whatever image of power you could have, as well as making all of us link to the human condition, which could be being locked with your body or be depending on the wheeling chair. So it's a very popular work because they're very hyper-realistic and everyone of course react in front of that. There's also a sense of humor because there's so many that it becomes a bit absurd. You can uh, <laughs> see the reaction. I think François Pinot is very curious and wants to be surprised. Uh, there's, uh, there's some very unknown artists in that show, uh, like Christian Birdfall or Raphael Ricoh, wherever they're coming from. Uh, and it's, I think, more what is in that show compared to some other venues where you would see more established artists put in triple commas. But there is every size and every kind of support and every kind of uh, preoccupation in the collection. Uh, the theme here pushed me uh, to have some works which speaks about the, the theme, uh, including the one behind, for example, Ahmed al Sudani. Uh, it's a real painting, but it's dislocated bodies. Uh, it's coming from South Arabia, and uh, you can see the effect of the, the state he's coming from, even if he just don't define himself like that. <laughs> 